Hey guys and welcome to the post apocalyptic garage. In one of our last videos we talk about wax lugs. If you haven't checked out this video already, links in the description. And we found out that making a slug out of birdshot makes it a lot more effective, at least when it comes to penetration. Mainly for untrained shooters, the shotgun will be the perfect survival rifle option. If it's loaded with birdshot, you can pretty much hit anything and it's perfectly suitable for small game hunting. Also, the birdshot shells are really cheap to purchase and they are widely available as well. Beside all of the advantages of the birdshot shell, it's a really weak round when it comes to penetration. It's not suitable for bigger game and especially when there are some situations where you have to breach a door or do something similar, they are really not suitable for this kind of task. After all, the biggest advantage in these cheap little birdshot shells is that any one of them is a potential slug. When you have no wax at hands, it's the easiest way to make some cut shells. To understand how this one works, you have to first understand how a shotgun round works. Every one of your classic birdshot shells are containing the shot, which are tiny lead BBs. It contains of the shot cup attached to the body. It's what seals the pressure behind the shot and get the shot out of the barrel without any pressure leakage. It's the powder, which is the explosive and creates the pressure. And it's the casing, which contains the primer. To make a proper working cut shell, you have to determine at first where to cut. We want to cut exactly in the middle of the wadi, where the springy part is. You want to cut the shell, but not all the way through, just leaving about a sixteenth of an inch of overhang to hold the shell together. So hey guys, uh, right now we shoot a regular bird shot on a distance of 35 yards on a 15 mm of plywood. So as we can see here, uh, we sprayed the whole shot uh, over the whole surface, uh, but not a single shot to go through the, the, the plywood plate. Same target, same distance, 12 gauge cut shell, let's rock. So, as you can see, I think that wantage is uh, very clear. Here you see the difference between a regular unfired round, a regular fired round and a fired cut shuttle. The crimping on the top of the round opens up to release the BBs and in case of the cut shuttle, this whole upper part don't opens up on the top but flew out in one solid piece. So it stays together during the whole flight and it releases much more punching power and impact. So that was it for today. Don't forget to check out our video on the wax lugs we made a few weeks ago. I've put the links for it in the description. Check us out on Facebook, give us a like and we'll see us next time.